we really have to think of a third Independence Day, and that is financial independence. We, as entrepreneurs and you know, people in our communities need to look at financial independence as a way of really freeing our communities up. There is a huge gap in finances, and there's a huge divide. There's a lot of different reasons. You know, wealth from generations, everything from Jim Crow to civil rights and redlining. We know the history, we've lived the history. We know what some of the reasons are as to why, you know, people are in different states. But we also understand now that all of that has been done. There is some responsibility as well for our leaders, for people in our community, our religious organizations, our family members to instill, inspire and produce change in mentality in our actions and change the way we think median household income back in 2016 for African-American individual is $35,500. And for a person that's Caucasian or white, it's nearly double that net worth. Why is it $17,600? For an African individual, black African-American person of color, 19% of African-American or black individuals had zero or negative worth. If you compute that number, 17,600 to the white counterpart, it's $171,000 of net worth. Huge gap, it's not even a small one. African Americans and blacks have higher debt in ratios 36% versus 29% for whites, and that's from Prudential.com. On the financial literacy part, there's the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, back in 2018 did a study where they posted just a simple five question test and it had to do with mortgage interest rates, inflation, and financial risk. About only 37% of African Americans had the question questions, right, versus a near 60 whites now big. So financial independence, that's something that we as entrepreneurs, that's something that we as real estate professionals and leaders in our community need to talk about because otherwise when you have debt, you're basically burdened. There's no independence, financial independence first comes from changing our mindsets about money, changing our mindset about how we think about money going from consumerism to actually producing things, cutting down on our expenses, making sure that we, the generation that, you know, it's not about showing your wealth with what you wear, it's what is in the bank account. It's not the purse on the outside, it's the money in the inside. We have to be able to continue to go from being financially responsible and promoting financial literacy. Just financial professionals, we're at the lowest bracket at somewhere around 5.7% of the financial industry itself among the lowest among minority. And so really need to do a great job. And so, you know, you got 4th of July, happy Independence Day, and we need to start to celebrate that third version, which is financial independence. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. You can also connect with me on social media for more content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time, take care.